Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2011 Ford E350 bucket van. It has 134,000 original miles on a Triton 5.4 liter V8 gasoline engine which starts right up as you can hear now. And an automatic transmission. The bucket unit is a 34 foot working height Versalift single stage boom. The van overall is in good shape. It is a one owner and has good tires all the way around as you can see. The frame's in nice condition with a little bit of surface rust in some areas, but pretty on par for a uh, northern truck. Looking down the side, the rocker panels, doors are all in nice shape, no major rust showing. Taking a look at the interior here, the floor is a nice black color. The seat bottom's in good shape, both seats are in good shape, but a work unit but it does look nice. It's got power windows and door locks, 134,045 miles. You can hear that electric PTO firing up. He's up in the bucket. Power windows, door locks, that is nice. There is our PTO switch. It says it's got 228 hours on it. All of these vans have been relatively low hours on the PTO, so I would believe that. AM, FM radio, heat and air conditioning, no lights on the dash, the brake lights on because the brake light or the brake is on. But we'll go ahead and check out what Jeremiah is doing. He's my accomplice today. Robert is, uh, I don't know what he's doing, but you can see just going around. Van's in good shape. It's clean. It's presentable. This is an old Optimum van. Uh, we've had a few of these in the past from them and these all sell relatively quickly. They go all over the place. They run and drive really well. They come in, they're in good shape. You can see the booms functioning as it should. Again, electric PTO on this, doesn't have a PTO that runs off the engine. Got a nice aluminum platform off the back. You can see him going all the way around with this thing. Does what it's supposed to do, no major leaks. The van itself runs and drives well. It's a real nice van, only 134,000 miles on it. He's high in the sky there, but a really nice platform off the back. We've got a step uh, as well as some room for some wheel chocks. Glass protectant there. We'll look in the back here. This one's set up pretty nicely, an open canvas. Uh, sometimes we'll see them with workbenches off to the left side there, but we do have some regular shelves to the right. Uh, we'll take a look through the uh, side door and see what we got in there in a second. But uh, looking down the side of this thing, no major rust, no major damage. We've got some dings and dents here and there, but really in nice shape. Again, all these tires are in good shape with deep tread remaining. You can take a look down the side again, no major rust. The van has had a little paint work, but that's about it and normal for these. But look at that frame, it's in real nice shape. Overall, a real nice black color. And again, looking down the side of this thing, it's in good shape, clean, presentable. Again, it has had a little bit of paint work. You will probably note that when you see it, but overall it's very clean, presentable. When they come in, uh, does they do have some sticker, uh, residual sticker glue and and whatnot on it so uh, it's just best to sometimes paint them up because the stickers pull off the paint but we'll take a look inside the interior here in the rear do have a power inverter it does work as it should as you can see there it turns on green light comes on but you can hear that electric pto doing its thing the reverse lift key tag is a 34 foot nine working height this floor is in excellent shape back here it doesn't look extremely worn or used and just overall, really nice inside. I think my accomplice hit the wrong button up there. He turned the van off. You can turn it off from up there too. <laughs> Testing it on and off, he says. But no, nonetheless, the thing runs and drives really well. We've did some uh, mechanical repairs, did a little paint work on this thing. It's ready to rock and roll. It looks great. We've had plenty of these things in the past and this one is no exception. It's in good shape, it's clean, presentable, it's ready to work. And overall, a really nice van. 
But this is one of the last ones that I have that's got really good mileage, 134,000 original miles. It's just hard to find on a bucket band. Uh, if you're buying one of these, you're spending a lot of money on it and you're gonna use it. So this one being 134,000 miles, it's just a hard to find van. But this one's clean, presentable, ready to go to work. It's turnkey, you buy it for me, you go to work the next day. You can hear the five fours just purring right along. Runs down the road as it should. What a great opportunity for a relatively low mileage bucket van. Ready to go to work. But you can check it out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this van throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore. If you have any questions about this van or any other vans, trucks, or cars I have for sale, feel free to give me a call be happy to answer answer any questions on anything you got for me thank you guys for watching